What's going on guys, Greg Freak here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Chris Paul and trade rumors appearing again as of course the season was going to go on. I mentioned the fact that Chris Paul was going to be there. Now as far as my absence for the past month, I've been just with college work and all other things, I just have not been able to make a consistent schedule, but I'm definitely able to make it now. And now we're gonna be going back into these rumors as far as surrounding with the Dallas Mavericks and the Milwaukee Bucks. As Chris Paul has been obviously starting off this season doing it's about what he did last season with 16 points per game, 4.8 assists per game, which are a little bit down, 3.3 rebounds, 1.6 steals, 80, 80% from the free throw line, about 46% from three, which is very great for him to start off from the three-point line this season. Now, of course, why did I expect the fact that they weren't going to trade him before the season started? It was a very obvious reason. People, of course, are going to be questioning Chris Paul's ability to stay healthy and his performance as he's getting older into age. And, of course, they want to be able to let him play and showcase the fact that he can still play at the high level that he's been playing for the past few years. And as you can see right here, now while his assists, of course, are going down whenever we're talking about you moving from the Houston Rockets to the Oklahoma City Thunder, who are obviously going to be going into a rebuild, there's different ways to go into this. Now, Chris Paul has shown interest personally into the Milwaukee Bucks as far as being rumored and reported, which makes plenty of sense. You're talking about a team that, of course, went to the Eastern Conference Finals. You're talking about adding another veteran type player there. And I definitely think the fact that it would be a great addition to have there, especially considering the fact of what I just haven't really seen well in as far as from Eric Bledsoe in the playoffs at that point guard position. I think the fact that Chris Paul really could step up in that position and it could really add something to it. And of course, you're talking about a player that's very good defensively as well and Chris Paul, even at his older age. Now, of course, the Thunder being interested in the team being the Dallas Mavericks. And of course, a team that's doing very hot has lots more pieces as far as what they could go in for trading value wise. And now, of course, don't get it mixed up as far as the Thunder are obviously not going to be expecting to get anything major from a Chris Paul trade deal. As really, we know the fact of the interest that Chris Paul wants to leave. And of course, the... Oklahoma City Thunder looking to rebuild and really move on from their position that they're in right now. And of course, with their high amounts of draft picks, they're obviously going to be looking for actual players in transition here. So whenever we're looking at something like this, I think the fact that we have to look at what's going to be the best fit for them out of these two teams so far. And of course, other teams may be an option as far as this, but for right now, this is the two teams that are coming up into the options. And right now, I think the fact that Milwaukee does make the most sense as far as that. And I think Chris Paul understands that, of course, it's better whenever you have a fit with a player that wants to go to that team. Now, I don't think the fact Chris Paul would complain about going to the Dallas Mavericks is they, of course, are showing great effort here. And, of course, I plan on making a video on this tomorrow as far as the things going on in Dallas. But I think the fact that you definitely have to be really concerned as far as that goes there. They have a great young team, good depth on that team. And of course, when it, you look at Milwaukee, of course, you're talking about the Eastern Conference playing with the former MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I think the fact that either one is a great situation as far as for a trade here. And of course, I do expect Chris Paul to be traded before the trade deadline this season, just due to the fact he doesn't want to be there. You want to get something out of Chris Paul and you don't want to keep waiting for him. To become less and less valuable as we already know his contract is not that appealing and of course he's going to be getting older in age you want to get rid of him as quick as it does look and of course the thunder looking to rebuild we know the fact that in previous videos i even mentioned the fact that they're looking to trade stephen adams now i think the fact they'll try to make a move for chris paul first just do the fact you don't want his stats to really murmur as far as the way that they would look if you got rid of all the talent around him so as i mentioned his assists have been dropping and of course that's due to the lack of talent around him as far as assist making playmakers around him so whenever we look at this i think the fact that chris paul could be moved by of course in the upcoming little bit now i don't think the fact it'll be very recent but i think the fact that you'll definitely see it coming soon and as far as that of course, I always want to know what your guys' thoughts are on these rumors and what team do you think that Chris Paul will end up at and what do you think is the best fit for him? I think the fact, like I mentioned, 
there's other teams out there that may be a possibility for a move for this, but I think the fact that right now, if he's interested in these teams and the Thunder are interested in these teams, it's definitely way to go with. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe to Compart the Greek Army today. And as always, this is Sparta. <laughs>